come to order. Our guest chaplain today is Pastor James A. Terrence of Friendship Baptist Church. Would all who are able please stand for the invocation and then remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this day, for the privilege to gather and to govern thy people. We pray for strength and stamina to face the challenges of our day. We pray for wisdom, direction, and discernment for those who lead. And may we lead with fairness, with justice, with mercy, and with humility. In your great name we pray. Amen. 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 I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Pastor. Will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Davis. Here. Ford. Also here. Johnson. Present. Pearls. Present. Reed. Present. Glover. Present. Marcuson. Present. Sarko. Present. Brooks. Here. Taylor. Here. Sharp. Here. James. Thirteen present. Will the clerk please call special actions? 30046, honoring Duran Eddins, animal control officer for the city of Kansas City for his heroic actions to save the family from a house fire. Mr. Eddins and others are present to receive the special action. You want to be in the picture? Okay. Councilwoman Serco. Mr. Mayor and Council, I just, um, we, we were, during business session last week, learned of Mr. Eddins' um, heroic act and recognizing our city employees that when they are not only city employees, they also take on the responsibility to be good citizens. And they are the eyes and ears um, for the city and for their neighbors. And um, I know we have very humble employees and not always want to be recognized as um, for their actions and even when they're heroic actions. Uh, but it's our responsibility to recognize that and thank them for what they have done. So we appreciate not only what you do for the least of, of our four-legged friends in Kansas City, but for the citizens of Kansas City. And your work is noticed and appreciated, and we want to know that we honor you. Thank you, Councilwoman Sarko. Are there others who wish to speak to the resolution? Well, I certainly will. I think any time that you have the, fort or the fortitude to do what you did and to help people and perhaps save lives, you should be patted on the back, uh, taking a dinner. Uh, your wife should rub your feet at night. Uh, Not likely to happen, is it? No. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Okay, I'm just trying to help you out, all right? But thank you for everything that you did, and thank you for what you did. If there are no others who wish to speak to the resolution, the resolution is now before the council. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. There are no opposed. The resolution is adopted. Would you like to say some words? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank You're you, uh, Council. Um, it's kind of weird receiving a reward for something I, you know, felt like I was supposed to do. Um, I am an animal control officer, but at the same time, my badge also says public safety. So um, I think about the safety of human life first and animal, animal second. So um, I would hope anybody else would think the same way. So I was glad I was able to be in the right place in the right right time to uh, do what I did. Thank you very Thank much. You. See, that's exactly. <laughs> Thank you.
Minnesota thank you. representing us. Way to go. Thanks for coming by. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, you were safe. That's a dangerous thing to do, but thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for what you did. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you for coming. Next action, please. 130048, commending Clyde Bowden for his dedication, enthusiasm, and outstanding public service given to Kansas City. Clyde Bowden and his director is present to receive his special action. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Clyde Bolton has served as our deputy director uh, for the health department since 2007. And it's not unusual when we honor folks upon the retirement that they've been with the city 15, 20, 25, 30 years. But sometimes you need to recognize the quality of service and not just the quantity. I've had the pleasure of serving with Clyde uh, in my capacity as a health commissioner and chair of the uh, contract compliance committee. And uh, so I understood and saw firsthand his dedication to his job. And let me just recite a few of the things Clyde is at least partly responsible for in his uh, service here to the city. Uh, the community transportation grant, the healthy weight collaborative, building a healthy heartland, healthy vending fitness, Antioch Health Center, Five Alive Nutrition Project, Charles House, Swope Health South, Northland Vision 2010, Northeast Kansas City Initiative, and with numerous neighborhood groups throughout the city. And I believe if he would have been here a little bit longer, we could make no behind left behind a reality. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Councilman Ford. Uh, I don't know which of you stood first, so I'll just start, uh, Councilman Sharp. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to uh, add my uh, thanks to uh, uh, this young man who, who is retiring. I, I, uh, w when we see uh, uh, folks like Clyde retire, I keep thinking, well, they, they ought to be working about 10 more years. But uh, he has done so much for uh, public health in, in Kansas City. Uh, and, and particularly, he has helped us in South Kansas City because uh, uh, in, in the Ruskin-Hickman Mills area, in the Marlboro area, uh, we do have large percentages of folks that are medically indigent, that, that don't have health insurance, and haven't had good access to health insurance. And during the last term, uh, he took a leadership role with uh, our former colleague, uh, uh, Councilwoman Kathy Jolly, and, and I worked with him as well to establish a, a public health clinic in South Kansas City for the first time there at 89th and Truce that uh, Swope Health Services operates. And when that was planned, uh, uh, I think Swope ha had no idea how, how popular it would become. I think they also thought it would draw more uh, patients who had full medical insurance. And I, I don't think they realized just how many medically indigent people uh, they would attract. And of course, it has been way more popular than was imagined. And unfortunately, financially for them, it, it attracted a lot more people without health insurance, and we did have to provide a little more money for that. But it, was, it filled a great need. And uh, Clyde helped work with them to establish a, a, a shuttle service so we could take people from Ruskin who didn't have personal transportation and get them to that facility so they can utilize it. And he, he has known, as, as we have who live out south, that, that we need a facility like that in the Ruskin-Hickman Mills area, too. And we worked with the ATA. Uh, uh, as I think you know, Mr. Mayor, they are planning a new transit center there at Bannister and Blue Ridge. We had the public hearing on that last night, and uh, several of us that attended uh, urged them to consider uh, making that transit center large enough in, in terms of the land they acquire where if we can, when we relocate, when we locate the money later on, we, we could put a health clinic on that site 
which would tie in so well with, with the bus service there. And, and several people spoke to that last night. And, and these things wouldn't have happened without Clyde's leadership. So uh, this is a safer and healthier uh, community as a result of his work. And, and all of us out south, I think, really appreciate the fact that, that he understood that, that we had large numbers of medically indigent people, and, and we just haven't had places for them to conveniently go. We, one of our largest clinics in Hickman Mills area, in fact, the largest, uh, Hickman Mills Clinic ain't in Hickman Mills anymore. It's still named Hickman Mills Clinic, but it was right there where KPRS, KPRT are in that same complex. Now it's out in a soybean field on 150 Highway, which is a little further out south. I still go there, but, it, but it's very, it would be very difficult, if not impossible, for people to get there who didn't have reliable transportation. So the need is even greater today. And uh, I'm pleased that the leadership of our health department recognizes that need and, and have tried to do something to, to remedy the problem. Thank so you, thank you, Clyde, for everything you've done. Thank you, Councilman Sharp. Councilman Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, want to first, uh, you know, we, we just heard earlier about all the uh, wonderful things we've done with uh, green uh, solutions and uh, uh, energy, and, and uh, we don't tell that story enough. We don't tell the, the story about our health department enough. We have an award-winning health department nationally recognized for a, in a lot of different areas, as Councilman Ford mentioned. Um, while I give a lot of credit to Dr. Archer at, at, at public meetings for his leadership on that. Clyde has been at his side and, and part of every single initiative and, and responsible also for every award along with our uh, health department staff. And uh, I, I think the, uh, when I think of Clyde, I think of uh, people making a difference in the city because you really have, uh, just in my short time, I've seen you uh, not only work on the, uh, the and before my time, the uh, South Clinic out south, which we found out uh, the uh, projections were, uh, we had double the attendance that was projected, uh, double the need because of that. So there was a real need for that. I know a lot of the uh, uh, people that benefit from that are single parents with children. And so, you know, these, these children uh, need this uh, South Clinic more than ever. Uh, because you can't sit in a classroom and learn if you're not healthy or if, you're, if you're, your mother is not healthy to get you to school, you're not going to be in the classroom. And so you really have made a difference with that. And I, I want you to know I've heard many stories uh, since it's opened. Um, and we try to give you uh, in the health department the credit for it. I know and Councilman Sharp and Councilwoman uh, Jolly uh, were very important as well as the rest of the council in getting that done too. But uh, that's been important. Then it's the other things that, that you don't get any credit for, such as the uh, there's the uh, grocery store that was uh, vacant for several years in a neighborhood that didn't have a grocery store in South Kansas City. Uh, you helped uh, many times, there are many hurdles that you helped us to overcome um, in getting that store open there. And it's been a vibrant store. It's helped, I don't know if you've been by it recently, but it's helped revitalize the area in that uh, as part of that there are sidewalks now. Uh, for people to walk. There are a lot of apartments. They can walk down to the store, healthy uh, walking habits and eating. And then uh, some of the other uh, 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 stores around there have started to, to reopen. So it's really made a difference, in that, and, and that's just one, another small example. So I, I think you've really made a difference. You may not realize it sometimes because you're busy doing a lot of different initiatives. Uh, my wife, I can tell you, uh, uh, speaks very highly of it. Uh, she always did, and now I understand why, uh, having uh, worked with you for a short time. Uh, she, uh, I remember uh, when I came into office, she uh, mentioned uh, that uh, Clyde is, uh, and Dr. Archer, one, one of the uh, go-to people to go to if you need anything. They, um, they know how to get things done. Assistant. And what I found is you do it with a very positive attitude that, that makes, that I think, encourages others around you to want to go that extra step. And so I really uh, can't say enough about your service. I wish you would maybe reconsider. You know, we, you still have a little bit of time before Tuesday, but uh, we uh, want to thank you for your service very much. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Taylor. Mayor Pro Tem. Well, Clyde, I won't go back through um, the list that's already been stated. I just want to thank you for the times that I've had projects to work with you on. 
um, and your service to the city um, with the positive attitude. Uh, there is so many different constituents that we have to deal with as either elected officials or uh, city employees that we have to manage and that management skill isn't always a gift everyone has and, and you've been able to, to do that. So thank you for your work, thank you for your dedication and enjoy yourself. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Councilman Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, congratulations, Clyde. But I also have to, as we, we've heard the list, uh, I, I wanted to also add, even though I mentioned it to you privately, publicly, uh, the work that we're doing now in the Northland, uh, in the Antioch area, um, which is basically work that you started uh, coming to Councilman Davis and myself. And as you know, uh, now Northland Healthcare Access is behind this too. Uh, a lot of momentum is building for this project. Um, so when that gets done, I don't know if you'll be there for the ribbon cutting. You should be, so don't go too far so we can find you. But, um, but certainly that will be added to your list of achievements, and I want to thank you, hopefully a couple years ahead of time, for your work on that project. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you, Councilman Wagner. Councilman Brooks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to, uh, everything's been said, so just on behalf of the Health Commission, and I'm proud to be uh, the chair of, thank you for all the work and expertise you brought to that situation. I will replace him and then I don't think he would be replaced with somebody else that can come. Thanks again for all that you are. Thank you, Councilman Brooks. If there are no others who wish to speak to the resolution, the resolution is now before the Council. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. There are no opposed. The resolution is passed. Mr. Bolton. There you are. Oh, don't worry about it. No. They're not. Thank you. I've uh, <laughs> had a chance to say goodbye a few times in other arenas. I was just sharing with Dr. Archer. First time I passed through Kansas City was in 1978 in the military. Did a military career, and it just seemed my path kept coming through here. And then uh, you know how it goes when you have grandchildren. All of a sudden, there are reasons to get a little closer and stay a little longer. So here I am. Uh, I'm not leaving. Uh, during the month of February, Marie, my wife, and I have agreed it'll be silent period. But after that, uh, if you know me, you know I can't sit at home and do nothing. And there are really good things to work with out there. And in particular, working with all of you uh, is not only a joy, but it also encourages me to get my butt back up off the couch and get back out into the community. And so uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a way to fit in and to continue to help out. Kansas City is a great place. Uh, it was very user friendly when I was trying to get acquainted with it, and I found it to be every bit of that since I've been here. And so I think today I officially would have to do my coming out party and say I, I'm happy to say that I'm a Missouri and a Kansas City, and most of all. And uh, I really thank you for the kind words and the privilege of working with the people of Kansas City. It's been a great ride. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks. I didn't know you were cheating on me working with all these other council people. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Very gracious. Good luck to you. I like that Good quiet luck. period. That's kind of a nice thing. Good luck, Clyde. Good luck. Clerk, please call the communications. 130050. Notice to the City Clerk from the Performing Arts Committee Improvement District regarding the submission of their proposed budget for fiscal year 2013-14. Received and filed. 130051. Notice to the City Clerk from Hush Blackwell regarding the submission of a slate of potential successor directors for the Redbridge Community Improvement District. Received and filed. I'm sorry, referred to Planning, Zoning, and Economic Development Committee. 130053. Notice to the City Clerk from Hugs Blackwell regarding the submission of the 2013 14 proposed budget for Redbridge Community Improvement District. Received and filed. 130054. Notice to the City Clerk from Hush Blackwell regarding the corrective and revised signature page to be added to the petition to establish the Independence Avenue Community Improvement District. Received and filed. 130058. 
Notice of the City Clerk from Hutch Black Road regarding submission of a petition to amend the petition to establish the Brookside Community Improvement District. Received and filed. Will the clerk please proceed with the third reading's consent docket? 130012, changes the name of Northwest, Northwest Baltimore Drive to Clay, Clay, Claymount, North 4th Platte, North Baltimore Drive, changing the name of Fountain Hills Drive to Northwest Fountain Hills Drive and Fountain Hills 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 6th, and 7th Platts, and changing the name that of that portion of East 118th Terrace East of Bristol Avenue in the Platte of Long Blue Manor to 1st Manor Placeback to East 18th Street. And it is on the committee recommends we pass. Will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Pearls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Circle. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. Will the clerk please proceed with the third reading's debate docket? 130008, establishing the 2012 Age Sanitary Sewer Revenue Bond Fund, estimated revenue in the amount of $88,256,869 in Fund 8186 in the 2012 a sanitary sewer bond revenue fund and appropriating the same from the sale of sanitary sewer improvement and refunding revenue bonds series 2012A transferring 230,000 from fund 8110 the sewer fund to sewer 8186 and 895,249 from 8179 the sewer revenue bond series 2004A fund to fund 8186 designating requisition authority and authorizing director of finance to close project accounts upon completion finance Committee recommends you pass. Councilwoman Markison. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Finance, Governance, and Ethics Committee has reviewed this and recommends you pass. This is uh, funding for some of our sanitary sewer projects. There's a list of the projects. They're in all of the areas. I think the good news is this uh, 42 million of this is uh, completes the amount of bonds that were approved in the 2005 uh, bond election. So we are already into our next um, election cycle of use of their bonds. And so we continue to make improvements in our sanitary sewers. Thank you, Councilwoman Markson. Is there any further discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Pearls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Circle. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. <coughs> 130016, accepting and approving a one year $48,980 contract with Missouri Department of Health and Human Services to conduct tuberculosis control activities in Kansas City, Missouri. Neighborhood Committee recommends you pass. Councilwoman Curls. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Even though many of us might not think of tuberculosis, it's still a problem in most cities. Uh, this program specifically targets the health of both adults and children with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, and uh, the treatment is usually from nine to twelve months, or even longer. So it's it's a process. Uh, neighborhoods and healthy communities recommends that this ordinance pass. Thank you, Councilwoman Curls. Is there any further discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Serco. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. 121077, approving the 2013 one year action plan in accordance with the National Affordable Housing Act of 1990 as amended, authorized submission of said plan to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and certifying said plan. Planning Zoning Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, first of all, this is a report from not only the Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee, but also uh, the Neighborhood and Healthy Community committee and I want to thank you for uh, the joint referral of this very important uh, ordinance uh, to the joint committee. I, I might mention we have uh, uh, two members who are members of both committees, Councilman Wagner and Councilman Glover, but they only had one vote in committee, so uh, although Scott asked for two. Uh, uh, Mayor, uh, last March we adopted our consolidated plan, which is our five-year plan covering huh? years 2012 to 2016 uh, in order to qualify for, for grants from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, every year we submit, uh, based on what we believe the uh, revenue is going to be from the, uh, uh, the federal government, uh, we come up with a one-year action plan. Uh, staff solicited uh, 
applications, came to the committee with recommendations. Uh, after hearing two weeks of testimony, uh, the uh, committee unanimously adopted uh, staff's recommendations on this, which, one, were consistent with the, uh, the action plan we adopted, and two, um, uh, uh, even though the amount of money we're getting is less every year, uh, it did look to be a, a fair allocation uh, of these uh, resources. Uh, in summary, Planning Zoning Economic De uh, Development Committee and Neighborhood Committee uh, uh, recommend due pass. Thank you, Councilman Ford. Is there any further discussion? Thank you. Uh, then will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. 121068, rezoning an area of approximately 106 acres generally located at the southeast corner of Northwest 104th Street and North Amity Avenue from District M23 to District C, KCIA. Planning and Zoning Committee recommends to, move to pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, this uh, rezones recently purchased airport property to the uh, proper zone. Everything owned by the airport is uh, zoned uh, District KCIA. Uh, Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed this ordinance, recommends to pass. Thank you, Councilman Ford. Is there any further discussion? Will the clerk then please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markison. Aye. Serco. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. 121070, amending the KCIA area plan, Kansas City International Airport, by changing the recommended land use on about 106 acres generally located at the southeast corner of Northwest 104th Street and North Amity Avenue from commercial, industrial, and open space buffer to KCIA. Planning Zoning Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, this is a companion uh, ordinance uh, to the rezoning we just passed to uh, change the area plan so it's consistent with the new zoning. Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed the ordinance, recommends to pass. Thank you, Councilman Ford. Is there any further discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 15 ayes. The ordinance is passed. 130021, authorizing the city manager to execute a redevelopment contract with Land Clearance Redevelopment Authority and Hospital Hill Economic Development Corporation for development of a grocery store at 27th Street and Truce Avenue within the Beacon Hill Development Project area. Planning Zoning Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, this gets us one step closer to the Beacon Hill redevelopment and specifically uh, the uh, grocery store. Planning Zoning Economic Development Committee has reviewed this ordinance, recommends due pass. Thank you, Councilman Ford. Sir, uh, Councilman Sharp. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to recognize the uh, leadership of uh, Truman Medical Center uh, in helping to, to uh, develop a, a full-service, healthy-oriented grocery store in an area that really has very few uh, resources for healthy food. Uh, Truman has, has been a leader in trying to educate people on how to eat healthier and has not just uh, stopped at trying to educate folks, but they have taken concrete actions to, uh, to make it easier to do that. Uh, uh, this grocery store, of course, will, will be the crowning achievement, uh, but they've already made uh, uh, their cafeteria offerings much more healthy. Uh, they have a healthy market there. Uh, that people in the area can take advantage of. And they have also the mobile market, which I think most of us know about, but uh, they have actually uh, retrofitted a bus that goes around to different parts of the city offering uh, fresh fruits and vegetables that are very high quality at very reasonable prices. Uh, it comes out to Hillcrest uh, Community Center weekly, among other places, but it's been very well received, and uh, I've used it myself. and, and uh, it really is a service to folks who sometimes don't have a lot of options to, to eat healthier even if they want to. So uh, I think we should recognize Truman Medical Center's leadership on this. Thank you, Councilman Sharp. Councilman Reed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, too, rise to uh, just speak very briefly about this uh, uh, ordinance before us. I testified about this in committee uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think, when it was heard 
uh, if it wasn't last week, I guess. Um, and um, in echoing the comments that Councilman Sharp made about Truman Medical Center in terms of their leadership role uh, with this grocery store is to be commended. Um, their first step in terms of the uh, bus, the mobile market that is already in place that goes around to a number of neighborhoods throughout the entire city really shows their dedication to doing this. And this ordinance is the first of many that we will uh, probably end up seeing in terms of our help and um, leadership in terms of making sure that we are eliminating the food desert within uh, the entire city. And so uh, just wanted to add my uh, voice to the ordinance and ask for everyone's support. Thank you, Councilman Reed. Councilwoman Sarko. Um, both of my colleagues have pointed out um, absolutely fantastic things. A, a great partner, uh, Truman, a need to address the food deserts and healthy foods. But this project is not a standalone project. It fits into a much larger piece of um, getting the city out of its receivership. Um, there, Beacon Hill is part of that, student housing is part of that, and all of those are integral in, in working, and the success of each one of those depend on each other. So. Um, the great announcement of a grocery store is, is not the end of our work. We have a lot more work to do to establish and make sure that this entire project is successful. And it is all three projects are moving forward um, successfully and um, are, are looking good. It's the population that we need. The population needs, needs the, the food. The city needs to be out of the receivership. The receiver wants viable uses. So it's all playing in together. And it took a very large contingency of city staff um, uh, city elected officials being engaged, um, uh, the state, and also our outside partners. So it is uh, a lot of things go to a lot of people, and there's too many to name right now. But this is not the end of the game. We still have a long road to go. Thank you, Councilwoman Serco. I would also like to say thank you to you and to Councilman Wagner uh, for your work in the housing area. Um, I know how um, intricate and nuanced it is, but I very much appreciate the fact that you've been engaged with it steadily because um, it's, it's, it's integral to the redevelopment of our neighborhoods and to this project specifically, which I believe is absolutely critical to the resolution of our receivership. So thank you both for your efforts in that regard. Councilman Glover. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I want to agree with you and the comments that were stated before, but I would like to add a point that um, before this council was elected in the, the food desert, there weren't things going on, um, at least in the third district. Now we have two grocery stores going on getting ready to be built, actually one being built, one in the development phase. And our colleagues from the third district have talked very generously about Truman Medical Center. I believe those comments are true. I like Truman Medical Center, but I think the, the, the leadership from the third district and uh, working with the rest of this council and with uh, has they weren't going before. They're going now. And I think we need to acknowledge that some good things are happening as a result of good third district leadership. Thank you, Councilman Glover. I, I concur. If there are no others who want to speak to the, uh, to the ordinance, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. Councilwoman Marcuson. Yes, Honorable Mayor, I move that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as scheduled committee advances and that these ordinances be advanced for final reading and consideration at this time. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived and that the ordinances on today's docket listed as scheduled committee advances be advanced for final reading and consideration at this time. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing no discussion on the motion, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Pearls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. 
James. Aye. 13 ayes. The motion is passed. Will the clerk please proceed with the advanced consent docket? 130029, approving the plat of Copperleaf, Copperleaf 9th Plat in addition in Clay County, Missouri, accepting various easements, establishing grades on public ways, authorizing the Director of City Development to execute and or accept certain agreements, and authorizing the City Clerk to record this ordinance and attached documents. Plain Zoning Committee recommends do pass. Will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Pearls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. Will the clerk please proceed with the advanced debate docket? 130033, authorizing Director of Water Services to enter into a contract with Kissy Construction Company for the Second Creek Interim Sewer Pump Station and Force Main Project for, for approximately $2,376,000 and authorizing expenditure of approximately $2,610,000. Transportation Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Johnson. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, committee has reviewed this and recommends to pass. Thank you, Councilman Johnson. Is there any further discussion? No further discussion. Then will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. 130034, authorizing the water purchase agreement between Public Water Supply, District Number 2 of Clay County, Missouri, and the City of Kansas City, Missouri, for a period of 20 years. Transportation Committee recommends to pass. Councilman Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Committee has reviewed this and recommends to pass. Thank you, Councilman Johnson. Is there any further discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 15 ayes. The ordinance is passed. Mayor Pro Tem. Honorable Mayor, I move that the charter requirements for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as second readings and that they be placed on the docket next week for third reading. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as second readings and that they be placed on the docket next week for third reading. Is there any discussion on the motion? If there's no discussion on the motion, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. The ordinance is passed. I'm sorry, the motion is passed. <laughs> Councilman Sharp. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I request that the clerk receive docket and read a resolution prepared too late to be on today's docket. The clerk will receive the resolution, assign a number, and read the title. That ordinance number is going to be uh, resolution number 130062, establishing an additional priority and position for the Missouri <coughs> General Assemblies of 2013 legislative session. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Sharp. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move for the immediate adoption of the resolution. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Is there any discussion of the resolution? Councilman Sharp. Mr. Mayor, uh, as you know, when we adopted our legislative priorities for 2013 for the Missouri General Assembly, we did that in October of last year to uh, give our legislators and, and uh, our lobbyists time to, to work and prepare uh, uh, the items that, that we favor passing. Uh, after that time, uh, the uh, consensus agenda for uh, economic development has been approved by our partner economic development agencies uh, in the area. That didn't take place really until uh, earlier this month. But this is, a, this is a, uh, an initiative that really the city initiated last term because we had heard from uh, several members of our delegation and other legislators from around the state that they'd, they'd sometimes hear different priorities from, from different organizations in Kansas City, and, and there were so many of them, they really didn't know uh, uh, what the top priorities were. So we were able to, uh, at that time, get the Downtown Council, the Economic Development Corporation, uh, the Greater Kansas City Chamber together, and, and we developed a, a short-term list of top economic development priorities since then. Uh, other organizations have joined that, including the Civic Council and the Platte County Economic Development Corporation. But this agenda, which we've all seen, includes some of our top 
uh, economic development priorities that would help us compete on a more level playing field with Kansas. It would include support for the Angel and Venture Investment Incentive Act, incentives for the data uh, center industry, which all our competing states around Missouri have. It would lower the eligibility threshold in Missouri's Quality Jobs Act. It would support implementation and full funding of MOSIRA, the Missouri Science and Innovation Renovation Act. Uh, it also calls for uh, passing new economic development tools that would level the playing field with Kansas, keeping the uh, incentive programs we have and supporting legislation to eliminate the, the predatory cross-border rating in the metropolitan area that we're seeing now. It would also include support for extending the uh, time deadline for land assemblage tax credits, uh, which would expire in August of this year. And of course, that program, with some modifications, could be very useful to redevelop the Bannister Mall area and in other parts of Kansas City. So uh, uh, since this is now before us, we didn't have a chance to to endorse it earlier because it wasn't ready at that time. But now that the session has started, I thought it was important that we add it to our agenda. Thank you, Councilman Sharp. Is there any others who wish to speak to the resolution? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Earls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Markson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. Well, aye. The resolution is passed. Council, I'm sorry, Mayor Pro Tem. Honorable Mayor, I move that the charter requirements for reading ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as first readings, and that these ordinances be introduced as listed to the committee so designated. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived for the ordinances on today's docket listed as first readings and that these ordinances be introduced as listed to the committee so designated. Is there any discussion of the motion? If there's no discussion of the motion, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Serco. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. James. Aye. Right. Two of ayes. The motion is passed. Is there any additional business to come before the body? Councilman Reed. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I request that the clerk receive a docket and read an ordinance prepared too late to be on today's docket. Clerk will receive the ordinance, assign a number, and read the title. That first no ordinance is going to be 130063. Um, Authorizing the Director of General Services to execute a $212,500 contract with HC, HECO for the demolition of Horace Mann School and, and additional structures. Authorizing Director of to amend the contract in the amount of $185,760 initial abatement work and appropriating $398,260 designated work position authority and recognizing an emergency. Thank you. Councilman Reed. Mr. Mayor, I move that uh, charter requirements for the reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived and this ordinance be advanced for final consideration today. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the charter requirement for reading of ordinances on three separate days be waived and that this ordinance be advanced for final consideration at this time. Is there any discussion on that motion? If there's no discussion on that motion, will the clerk please call the roll on that motion? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. Twelve ayes. The motion is passed. The ordinance is now before the council for final consideration. Is there any discussion on the ordinance? Councilman Reed. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. This uh, ordinance uh, uh, is extremely important for the demolition of the Horace Mann School, which is located uh, at 2208 uh, East 39th Street, and you can see it as you drive generally down 71 uh, highway. It's been vacant for quite some time and it's been an eyesore. There's been a lot of uh, work that has been going uh, forward as it relates to uh, getting the building demolished. Uh, this ordinance uh, will help us move in that direction. The city has been funding uh, this through the dem this demolition through the neighborhood stabilization programs and funds have been made possible through the Housing and Economic Recovery Act of 2008. Uh, and this wasn't actually heard in committee and we had an opportunity to speak with uh, uh, the chair of the Plans and Zoning Committee and 
uh, we discussed the importance of moving this uh, today so that staff can actually work uh, with uh, the contractors so that we can uh, meet the March 11th, uh, 2013 deadline so that um, we are actually able to get the invoices out and that we don't have to give the money back to um, uh, the program. And so I would respectfully request that uh, I can get everyone's support so that we can allow for staff to uh, get this uh, done in a timely manner uh, and meet the deadline so that eventually the, the building can get uh, uh, torn down. Thank you, Councilman Reed. Councilman Glover. I think it is important to get this done in a timely manner, although I'd like to ask what is the reason for the increase and what fund is this coming from? Is this, you, you, you mentioned that we would have to give the money back to the federal government. Is this a fund that from prior years that if not spent, we lose? Uh, yes, that, that is correct. Uh, this, this amount uh, uh, that uh, has been authorized uh, for the contract is for $185,760,000. For additional abatement work for the project, uh, and that actually um, increases uh, for the work that's already been done in it, and so that we can actually have uh, the contractors uh, paid out of that abatement work that uh, has been part of the project as well. I think the second piece of the question was the fund, um, and that is through the neighborhood stabilization program funds, um, which are from the Housing um, and Economic Recovery Act. Councilwoman Curls. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, too, would like to uh, urge my colleagues to vote for this um, ordinance. Uh, the Horace Mann School has been in disrepair for quite a few years, and uh, it's had, they've had studies done on it. Some groups, the neighborhood group, has tried to save it. But then after the fire, uh, it was pretty much a done deal that it would have to be demolished. And uh, they did take off the top level but it's a shell is still there. It's a couple of more floors are still there. So it is in disrepair and it is an eyesore to that area. I pass by there almost every day. So um, I'm encouraged by this effort to uh, finally demolish it and we can move on. So I would uh, encourage your participation and support. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Curls. Councilman Ford. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, I rose to answer Councilman Glover's question, but Councilman Reed, I thought, handled that uh, uh, very well and accurately, that this is NSP3 money, and we're on a very tight deadline to get uh, contracts on it, and, and therefore the need to bypass the committee today. I, I was uh, in the conference room when staff approached Councilman Reed about it and explained the, uh, the time sensitivity. Um, Without casting any aspersions, is there some reason why staff couldn't have approached earlier? Uh, if, if I can, Mr. Mayor, that was my uh, first question to staff uh, because, part, frankly, uh, I, I hate to get to the floor and have to answer a lot of the questions as it relates to the back end. And so that was the first question in terms of asking why. Uh, and they said th their response has been that there were a number of things that they had to work out and unfortunately weren't able to get it to the committee um, uh, before the committee met in terms of uh, the deadline and working out some of the logistics. Thank you, Councilman Reed. Something further, Councilman Ford? Oh, I, I think that's my understanding, too, that when they started the demolition project, they ran into further asbestos and environmental issues that, as we know, sometimes you don't know what you have until you're there. Until you get there. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Councilman Ford and Councilman Reed. Is there any further discussion? Hearing no further discussion, will the clerk please call the roll on the ordinance? Wagner. Aye. Davis. Aye. Ford. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Curls. Aye. Reed. Aye. Glover. Aye. Marcuson. Aye. Sarko. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Taylor. Aye. Sharp. Aye. James. Aye. 13 ayes. Councilman Reed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I request that the clerk receive a uh, docket and read an ordinance prepared too late to be on today's docket. The clerk will receive the ordinance, assign a number, and read the title. That ordinance number is going to be 130064, appropriating 250000 in the Community Development Rock Grant Fund for the Caldenays Project in Beacon Hill, and authorizing the Director of Neighborhood and Housing Services to amend the contract and corresponding documents with the Caldenays at Beacon Hill. 
an addition and add, to add an additional 250,000 in the funding. I referred to Planning, Zoning, and Economic Development Committee. Is there anything further to come before the body? Yeah. Hearing none, is there a motion to this to adjourn? So move. So move. All in favor, aye. Aye. We're adjourned.